So I want to get a little into the weeds here and the mRNA technology. When you and you and your your colleagues were trying to decide which route to go down, the traditional vaccine route or the mRNA route, you you write that um, it was quote most counterintuitive to go the mRNA route, and yet you went that route. Explain why. It was counterintuitive because Pfizer was mastering, or let's say we had very good experience and expertise with the multiple technologies that could uh, give a vaccine. And the viruses that some of the other vaccines are, we, we were very good in doing that. Um, protein vaccines, we were very good in doing that, and plus many other technologies. Um, the mRNA was the technology, but we had less experience, only two years working on this. And actually, mRNA was a technology that never delivered a single product until that day. Uh, not vaccine, not any other medicine. So, uh, so it was very counterintuitive. And I was surprised when they suggested to me that this is the way to go. And I questioned it. Uh, and I asked them to justify how can you say something like that? But they came and they were very, very convinced that this is the right way to go. They felt that the two years that, uh, of work on mRNA since 2018, together with BioNTech, to uh, develop a flu vaccine, uh, made them believe that the technology is mature and we are at the cusp of uh, delivering a product. Um, so they convinced me. I, I follow my instinct that uh, they know what they are saying. They're very good. And uh, we made this very difficult decision at that time.